Weather for Long Beach, California. That Long Beach realtors love when showing those Long Beach homes for sale. Okay, this video uh, looking at um, the weather in uh, Long Beach and why the Long Beach realtors love it when showing off those uh, Long Beach homes for sale. So, it's really to highlight the changes in the seasonal temperatures and how it may affect uh, your decision to look at um, yeah, either Long Beach rental properties or homes to buy in Long Beach uh, if you are thinking about moving here. Okay, so weather for Long Beach, California, the good part. Well, you see, the weather in Long Beach, California has a climate that fits nicely in the description of either a hot, semid, arid or Mediterranean climate with the summers reaching a temperature high of 84 degrees Fahrenheit. This is in the month of July, August and September with no days of rain. Sounds so perfect. But what about the rest of the time of the year and the weather for Long Beach weather in California? So, does the weather for Long Beach, California affect realtors in Long Beach? Well, it's perfect for searching to find the perfect Long Beach home for sale any time of year. As any Long Beach real estate agent will tell you, their job of selling real estate in Long Beach is so much easier when the sun is shining. Even the most optimistic Long Beach real estate agent will admit that they always look out for the weather in Long Beach, California report when arranging viewings on brighter days in the grey winter season. Well, actually, that's 100% true. An agent said this to me once when explaining how it worked. But it was only one of them that said this to me. The more I thought about it though, it, it's an obvious choice to make when the weather is good to show a home to a buyer. I think that way wouldn't really work in the UK with us only having 10 days of sunshine. Um, so, back to the weather for Long Beach, California. Although it has to be said, the weather in Long Beach uh, can have its cold spells. The city features summers that are very hot and winters that are nice to warm, with rain falling just here and there. The majority of the days in Long Beach, as well as the rest of Southern California, are bright with sunshine. The temperatures that are reported at the weather station at Long Beach Airport, which is located four miles uh, inland from the ocean, vary more than those that are recorded around the immediate coast. In the summer months, it is usual for low clouds and fog to build up overnight and blanket the area on many mornings. This phenomenon uh, occurs mostly or most frequently during the months of June, July and August. So it's not all rosy then, is it? The weather for Long Beach, California. But the, this uh, fog does actually lift around early afternoon time and a sea breeze from the west normally starts blowing which helps to keep the temperature in a more than comfortable range. Now, weather for Long Beach, California, the summer downside. You see, in the summer, unfortunately, it's not common for there to be both high heat and high humidity at the same time, which can lead to a pretty uncomfortable feeling for many. If you're on the beach all day, it doesn't appear to be a major problem, though. But seriously, it's not a great combination for anyone with certain health conditions and will li limit time outdoors uh, when the weather is actually like this. Most places they'll have air consoles sitting comfortably inside, nice and cool. Looking at the ocean isn't a bad option. Weather for Long Beach, California, why it's like it is? Well, because of its location directly east of the Palos Verdes Peninsula, and its south-facing coastline, the city of Long Beach is subject to sporadic occurrence of weather patterns that differ from those of the Los Angeles metropolitan uh, area coastal communities to the city's northwest and southeast, which these have primarily west-facing coastlines. This is because the Palos Verdes uh, Peninsula sits directly to the east of Long Beach. Palos Verdes Hills, which rise to an elevation of 1,200 feet, these sort of act as a function as a barrier to the passage of air from west to east and absorb a sizable percentage of coastal humidity that is typical of other coastal communities, such as Manhattan Beach, Santa Monica and Newport Beach. Weather for Long Beach, California, the not so good times. 
The rainiest time of year in Long Beach, like it is in most of Southern California, is winter. Storms often bring with them a significant amount of precipitation. You will see from the charts, though, that going through from no rain at all in the summer months to what is still a really low number of days through the other months in winter time. But when it rains in Long Beach, it can really rain, rain heavily with thunderstorms. They don't last long though, so it's just really viewed as a nice change from sunshine. You get a bit bored with everything eventually, don't you? Okay, the number one reason people look for Long Beach homes for sale. Now, Long Beach uh, realtors say that when showing potential movers to the area, the main attraction, there are many though in Long Beach, but the main one is really the good weather. Most of the time the weather for Long Beach, California is nearly as perfect as you can get. Okay, the occasional cloud, misty rain. Compared to other locations in the USA, though, it takes some beating. So if you're one of those people looking for Long Beach homes for sale so you can enjoy the weather Long Beach has to offer, as well as the countless other fantastic pluses Long Beach, California has, then have a look at the free video series to help you decide and give you all the information you need in buying a Long Beach home in the sun. Most days anyway. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now. See you in the next video. Thank you.